Hey folks, Troy Dooley, the Beachside CEO. Hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. This is episode 874 is what it is. So I'm, I'm stoked. I'm excited. We've been able to put out a lot of content over the last few years because you guys find value in it more than anything else. Today, I want to hit hard on something that can uh, ruin your life if you're in the uh, Forex, crypto, any type of financial education, maybe it's in coins, metals, doesn't matter what it is. If you're putting out uh, misinformation, then you could pay a price that, that is second to none. Now, let me give a little bit of background here. I'm not talking out of just a talking head. I was, was a, a broker for uh, almost a little over a decade, I believe. So I, I have a, a very inside knowledgeable of what the regulations, what the licensing are, what it takes to be a financial advisor. Okay, how to, how to literally, if you're not a financial advisor and you're telling somebody, here's how much you can earn, then it can cause a problem. It could also put you into a, a type of situation where the company that you're representing uh, could be seen as, as, as uh, being a financial advisory firm without a license. And, th and there, there's a lot of details here, but I'm, I'm giving you my background. I've also invested in crypto. I have NFTs. I have, I have metals. Uh, I sat on the board and have worked uh, extensively with individuals who have created tokens, created NFTs. Uh, our latest project, I believe, with one of the companies uh, where I sat on the board of directors is they put together a token for the country of Haiti. I know a little bit about what I'm talking about is where I'm going with this. And what I saw in a video that was sent to me uh, disturbed me immensely because if I was a regulator, I would have already have sent letters to this company. I would have already have, have sent a direct letter to this individual female. I may have gone ahead and, and got a TRO against her because of what was being said because it is totally false. And I don't know if it's false out of stupidity out of ignorance, or if it's a blatant manipulation to go after people who don't understand. And we see a lot of that. We've seen that with the OneCoin. We've seen it with the uh, BitClub Network. Uh, these are companies that have been hit by federal regulators. And the list goes on and on. There has been a plethora of companies with and without compensation plans. I'm not going to throw this lady under the bus by shouting out her name. I'm, I'm not going to call the company out. There's several companies uh, that have the name Academy in them. So you're going to be able to take this. But this is a current, um, what we call it, current video. Now, here's what I want you guys to know before I show this. And then I'm going to go into calculations after I show you this little snippet of her video. Number one, the Federal Trade Commission, and this was in uh, April 2020, went after Online Trading Academy. Matter of fact, the headline read, FTC obtains preliminary injunction against investor training scheme Online Trading Academy. At that time, the FTC alleged, and that's, it's, it's always an alleged, but they alleged that the defendants had used false or unfounded earnings and related claims to sell investment training programs costing as much as $50,000. Every company that I know today in the direct sales space that, that is in the Forex or they're in crypto, they're in mining, they're in something, the majority, if not all of the company, has to do with selling some form of membership, uh, some form of software to help you be a better investor, they will have uh, online trading education uh, Zooms or, or calls, you know, trading times. And, and you guys have seen these. I mean, I've got an e-trade account. We have live uh, uh, training that goes on where the traders are actually showing you uh, whatever. It could be in futures. It can be in stocks. It can be in, in Forex. It can be in anything. So that's what they're doing in these online academies. When they got into this case, the reason the settlement came up is that Online Trading Academy could not actually produce live trading accounts. 
They had a lot of people talking about it. They used a lot of simulation. Uh, they used a lot of talking, but nobody could come up with the fact that, yes, we've earned all of this money utilizing this specific strategy in which we are training people on. Therein lies the major issue. Uh, everybody got involved. Everybody was, was part of this and they all ended up paying a price because of false income claims. That's where this is. Not income claims from, hey, this is how much money you can make if you join my team. No, it's this is how much money you can make if you invest this amount of money and you and you are earning this amount a day or you follow our specific uh, pips or whatever the case may be. So with that being said, I want to stop for a second. I want to play this clip. It's a small clip of what this young lady said in a live situation that is promoted out online where people are seeing it that can get both the company and her in trouble. Watch this. Was until we got in this academy. And to give you a visual, you can start with $300 and learn how to compound that $300 by 3% a day. By the end of a year, you have just under a half a million dollars. Okay, if you start with $500 and you compound it, you've got a million dollars. And so now that we've been in the academy for so long, it's happened to so many of us and our friends, people already retiring, my friends in Australia being able to move out of Australia because they were able to retire themselves. Now they live in their dream places in the world. You know, one's in a ski resort, another one moved to an island in Mexico, people moving out of Canada. There's so many stories like that because Let's face it, in the end of the day, we all wake up and trade our time for something that's gonna. Okay, now here's what we have. And it's, and it's when these videos come out, and this is where regulators will grab the video, grab the individual and grab the company. You listen to her and she says, our academy shows you how to take $300, compound it 3% a day, and at the end of the year, you will have close to a half a million dollars. If you put $500 in at 3% for a year, you will have a million dollars. That's what she's alleging. That's what she's purporting. That's what she is claiming is going to happen if you join the academy and go through their training. However, what are the numbers? Now, there's two different, there's lots of different places you could go. But there's two places that I went to. First one is investor.gov. It's got a great compound interest calculator where you can put in the information. The other one that I use more than anything else is called Calculator Soup. And there's every calculator you want on there. I'll, I'll, down below here, we'll actually show the link to the actual calculator that I used. But in both cases, there is no way under the sun to come up with a half a million dollars on a $300 investment, investing it compounded at 3% daily. There is no way under the sun that you can come up and take $500 compounded 3% a day for a year and come up with a million dollars. Now I wanted to play at these figures. So, I mean, we were looking at how, how can we play at these figures? A one-time investment of $300 compounded at 3% a day for 12 months, Okay, just one time, $300. We're gonna show you at 3% a day how you can compound and you're gonna have a half a million or, yeah, you'll have a half a million dollars. Well, no, you'd have $309.14. Now, because I don't know what it is she's totally talking about, I then did the calculation. Okay, let's do $300 and then let's do $300 a month. Let's add to it. Well, that would give you $3,959.11. But then I thought, okay, maybe she's talking about like the rule of 72. If you take a penny and you compound that penny daily, then by the end of the year, you got all this money. So I went in and I did that. I did $300 a day times 365 days at 3% a day. Well, that would only come up to $111,463 at the end of the year. I then flipped it and did the $500. And the max, if I if I totally got it wrong and, and, and they said, no, Troy, we mean you're taking your $500 plus your interest, it's compounding daily, that would come up to $185,000.
in one year. Nowhere does it come up with half a million. Nowhere does it come up with a million. Now, you may be saying, well, Troy, she just got it wrong and you're overreacting and that's probably why you don't have any hair left on your head. No, actually, here's what happens. The FTC in 2021, 2020, actually lost in a Supreme Court hearing that said they could go after companies just like they went after Online Trading Academy. So what happened after that was the FTC said, well, fine, if you're going to say we can't just go do whatever we want to do, then what we're going to do is we're going to come up with a better way of doing it. And we will, we will go into what is known as the, I'm going, to, I'm going to tell you exactly what the law is that they're using, the Penalty Offense Authority. So the FTC now uses the Penalty Offense Authority. They have sent out thousands of letters in 2021 to all kinds of companies saying, we're coming after you. Now, here's what this is. And you, I'm going to put a link up to uh, Kevin Thompson, who is known as the MLM attorney. Um, he actually does a very, very good job of showing companies that have compensation plans, how this can affect them and everyone else. But this is across the board. Here's what it says. After, after facing a, humilita a humiliating defeat before the Supreme Court, the FTC has decided to build another weapon of mass destruction. Obviously, the FTC cannot exist in a world where targets are given the opportunity to defend themselves. The weapon is referred to as the Penalty Offense Authority. The Penalty Offense Authority, as written, has the power that has been hiding in plain sight since 1975. In a nutshell, the POA gives the FTC the power to put the entire industry on notice for improper behavior. Each penalty is over $43,000. So here's what you have. You have, a, you, have, you have individuals who are not protected by First Amendment rights. Okay, this is called commercial speech. So they can't say, well, that was my opinion. Uh-uh. When you're talking about financial stuff, just the FTC can come after you. We're not even talking about the CFTC or the SEC. So they can come after an individual, but they can come after the company itself for every violation they see. It doesn't matter if you're in health and wellness. It doesn't matter if it's crypto. It doesn't matter if it's Forex. It doesn't matter if you're just telling somebody, hey, give me 10 bucks and I'll give you 1% interest a day. If it's false, any false information, then your butt's the one that gets hung out to dry. So here's what you've got to ask yourself. Is it worth it? Is it worth it for me to put out erroneous, false, ignorant, stupid, manipulative information and then want to hide behind, oh, I didn't know that. Ignorance isn't bliss. Ignorance in this case, stupidity in this case, or blatant malice to go out and try to screw people can cost you everything you have. Now, what other case study do I have? Well, let's bring it back home to me. In 2012, I was, I was out of town when two U.S. Marshals showed up at my house to deliver my wife a subpoena because at that time, I was working with the company that owned Zeke Rewards. And at the end of the day, sitting in front of a deposition in, that, that came from Washington, D.C., wasn't even from the receiver of Zeke Rewards. Washington, D.C. said to me, we can see that you really didn't have anything to do with the operations of this business. But because you didn't totally disclose all of the facts, we're going to go back to a 1933 uh, Congressional Act. It's the Securities and Exchange Act, 1933. And we're going to state that you were advertising for Zeke Rewards. And it was about 17% of my agreement is how they calculated that. I had to pay a fine. It was an infraction. It's not a criminal, but it cost me money. Worse than that, it cost me part of my reputation. Worse than that, it's all over the internet. Worse than that, it's true. I didn't know they were a Ponzi scheme. I didn't know that they were going to get hit. But that wasn't, didn't matter if I was ignorant to that. And the same thing rings true with you. You cannot use ignorance when you're out here 
taking hard-earned money from people and lying to them, even if your lie is out of ignorance, it doesn't work that way. Clean it up or get out of the business. That's what you really need to do. And, and I mean, I'm not saying not to be a Main Street entrepreneur. I'm just saying go find something else that's not going to get your butt in trouble. If you can't go out there and actually build something based on information that you know, then you shouldn't be in that business. And if you're going out there and listening to other people and what they say, well, that's like being in a cult. Oh, whatever the, the guru tells me, then I'm going to go and I'm going to regurgitate it and spit it out. It doesn't work that way. So you need to clean it up. I don't care what company it is. I don't care what type of information. I don't care what type of education. What you need to do is just tell the truth. What goes up comes down. I've made lots of money in crypto. I've lost lots of money in crypto. I've made lots of money in stocks. I've lost lots of money in stocks. That's the nature of the beast. And if you're not telling people that, if you and, and here's the fun one, this guy doesn't even have disclosures up. It's just, boop, here it is, bad deal. So guys, get it right or don't do it. Live life like it's an epic adventure. Stay dangerous, stay strong. And if you're in a home-based business, act like it.